Hello, wonderful traders. This is UC FX. Welcome back to another wonderful video. Yes, this channel is all about helping you and uh, struggling traders to become acquainted with the necessary information and knowledge to be profitable in the forex market. Even advanced traders as well to even become more profitable in the forex market. So support us on this wonderful journey by clicking on the red subscribe button and the bell notification icon to be among the first that will see our videos whenever we upload them. Thanks for doing that. And always remember to drop any topics that you would like us to make videos on in the comment section. We really want to connect with you to help in any way we can. So without wasting much of your time, let's go into what we have for today. Okay, yeah. So here we have on our screen breaker blocks. On a simple note, a breaker block is simply a failed order block or a failed demand or supply. Yeah, I take that again. A breaker block is simply a failed order block or a failed demand zone or supply zone. So before I uh, we continue, it is necessary you understand what an order block is. So I have a video in the description below on order blocks and how to trade them with those super sniper entries. So do well to check them out after this uh, video. So let's go back to what we have. So just like I said, a breaker block is simply a failed other block or a failed demand zone or supply zone. So let me explain that with a rough sketch. Okay, yeah. So let's say we we are in an uptrend and we have um another block inside this area. And we have another block inside this area. So I know, uh, a breaker block is just basically a failed order block, just like I said. So whenever you see price run through other blocks, that's what we call a breaker block. So this is what we call a breaker block. So a breaker block, that's BB. Yeah, and this breaker block can be used to confirm entries or understand what uh, or understand the directional bias of, of the market, depending on the time frame. So, what do I mean by that? Um, let's assume uh, this market is about to reverse to give us a bearish trend. So, and this is our last um, order block or demand zone. Uh, before this market, uh, this uh, area was run through. So it would be, this would actually serve as a confirmation to make you know that, okay, this uh, bearish trend is ready to start happening. So you will be spotting your entries right inside this area, inside these uh, breaker blocks. So I'm going to be showing you that on the real chart to actually make you understand more on what I'm actually saying. Okay, so here we have on our real chart a Euro JPY. So let's actually try to understand how we can use this breaker block to catch entries or understand the market structure. So here we have um, a break of structure, which is actually telling us that this market is actually about to enter into a very trend. So we have a break of structure here. So after our break of structure, if you look upwards, you will see a nice uh other block of supply zone. Then let's go down to the lower time frames, the H1 time frame. As you can see, we have a, a beautiful uh, other block formation right inside this area. So after the formation of this um, other block, price ran through this other block. As you can see, price ran through this other block, giving us our breaker block. So here we have our breaker block. So having this in mind, you have actually understood or have gotten a, a clear price action telling you that this market is about to reverse because this other block failed to hold. So it gave us this uh, breaker block. So how would you be catching this trade uh, using this price action?
so you'll be catching this trade first of all you have to take note of the candle here in this uh in this scenario we'll be taking note of the last bullish candle before this uh other block was run through so here we have um a nice bullish green candle that formed before price ran through this area so this is the area you need to consider or uh, 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 take note of to continue or catch this uh, bearish or uh, catch this uh, the start of this uh, bearish movement. So after marking out this area, you will take your Fibonacci to take it from the highs of this um, area to the lows. So you need to make sure that price is actually at a discount level. As we all know, as I've been mentioning in this um, channel, our discount level is actually the 0 0.618 and 0 0.786 of the Fibonacci tool. So as you can see, price tapped nicely into a discount level. So you need to get interested into in, in taking your entries. So after spotting and noting that price is actually at a discount level, you now go down to a lower time frame. Let's go down to a 15 minute time frame. So here on the 15 minutes time frame, we have a beautiful price um, action. So as well, we had a, a, a nice um, order block formation right inside this area after it tapped into our discount level. Let me change the color. So here on this um, area, price broke structure again. So we had a break of structure and price tapped into our other block. So this is where we'll be taking your entries from. So taking your entries from this area, you will put your stop loss slightly above this other block, this 15 minutes time from other block. So you'll be having a really, really tight stop loss, uh, taking your uh, entries from this area. So you will having uh, about 19 pips stop loss which is actually, actually uh, quite decent. So we'll be taking all the way um, lower. So let's look at the H4 time frame. So you'll be targeting, targeting the next lows as your take profit. So if you're targeting these lows, which means your entries would be, um, so you will be targeting these lows as your take profit. That's about 243 pips take profit. So that's about one to 12 risk to reward ratio. So this is how you could actually use uh, this breaker block to understand the directional bias of the market and to take your entries. So if you want to understand more about um, this lower time frame confirmation entries, do want to check my video um, about other blocks and how to trade them. I think you will understand more on how to get those sniper entries. So see you on the next video. This is all about this is all I have for breaker blocks. So see you on the next video. And make sure to um, like and subscribe and drop on a comment section any topics that you like us to uh, make videos on. Thank you and see you on the next video.